Hi, this is Carrie with Carrie Concealed and the Active Self Protection Extra channel. And today I'd like to talk to you about a topic that's near and dear to my heart. How does a mom of many keep her concealed carry at hand yet allow no unauthorized access? Let's talk about it. Magtech is the only pistol or rifle ammo I use on the range and I recommend them highly. I've seen their manufacturing and quality control firsthand and it's incredible, which is why it always performs reliably and accurately. They are operating at max capacity and cranking out rounds for you to keep your skills sharp. Pick up some MagTech at your local ammo retailer or get it shipped fast at luckygunner.com. So as I mentioned, this is a topic that's close to my heart. Uh, it's close to my heart because it's one that students ask me often. And it's also near and dear to my heart because it's something I've struggled with, struggled to try to find a way to do this securely. Um, and I've made a number of mistakes with it that could have been catastrophic and thankfully they weren't. But uh, I just thought I'd share with you a little bit about uh, the method that I've chosen and how I use it um, to be able to have confidence that I can rapidly access my handgun and my defensive tools at night um, and yet keep them from falling into unauthorized hands. So um, I'm a parent of a number of kids with a wide age range, and we've tried many different rapid access secure storage devices over the years. We've tried the programmable uh, keypad push button ones. We've tried uh, biometric ones, and I'm talking about bedside safe, so they're uh, rapidly accessible to us um, in our bedroom. And we've tried uh, we've also even tried some of the little combination boxes with the little combinations on them, um, all in an attempt to have a gun at the ready at night, but keep our crib crawlers uh, from accessing them while we're trying to get some sleep. So sometimes people ask, well, why not just unload your gun at night and store it that way? Um, a little kid can't load the gun. That's a whole different topic and we're actually going to get into that um, in a little bit later this year about talking to your kids about guns. Um, but we know, first of all, from watching the Access Self-Protection Extra channel, we know how rapidly events can unfold. And for me, I don't want to trust my family's safety to something that I need to be able to get up and quickly um, access it and load it. Um, I'm just afraid I won't have time because of how quickly events can unfold. Secondly, uh, we know that the vast majority of unexpected or unplanned discharges happen during administrative gun handling. Administrative gun handling is anytime I'm handling the gun when I'm not shooting it. So that would be holstering, unholstering, loading, unloading, uh, cleaning, field stripping, all those sorts of things. Um, I want to minimize the amount of administrative gun handling I do. And therefore, for me, I want to have my concealed carry gun safely holstered where it can just simply stay there um, while it's on my body, it's secure. And then when I take it off at night to go to bed, um, I want to keep it that way, but I want to make sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. So um, here's how I use my uh, bedside safe. So the first thing I do is I come and I like to check the batteries in my flashlight and make sure that those are working and they are. And then I put on the little um, RFID bracelet that opens the gun safe. And then I, uh, normally I would take off my gun uh, here at the bedside, but uh, I'm not gonna do that on camera. So I have it stored right here, but uh, this is my concealed carry. It's holstered and uh, I've seen my Enigma with the sport belt wrapped around it, all ready to put into my rapid access safe. And I just simply set it in like this and I just push down. And there's a nice little green light on there that lets me know that it's secure. And then I can, uh, I do like to test it though before I climb into bed and just make sure that it's working like it should. So I just, lay the uh, RFID part of the bracelet there and that opened beautifully like it should. So then I'll close it and I've got my green light so I'm nice and secure. And then I just go get undressed and uh, put in my pajamas and head to bed. Um, in the morning, um, I go in and get dressed or you know shower, get dressed, whatever, and then come out and um, go ahead and open it. There, it's open. And then I take off the wristband usually and put it over the flashlight like that. And then I simply grab this out and put it on and do what I need to do. So I'll set it there for now. So that's how I use it. Um, 
Why did I choose this one? Well, I chose this one because it meets the ASMT standard. I think the standard's 2456 uh, for youth resistant firearm storage device. You can look it up. Um, as an exhausted young mom, I trusted several secure storage devices that I should not have trusted. I didn't know better, but I'll never forget the day that I was uh, looking on YouTube at rapid access storage safes just to see if anything new had come out. This was about 10 years ago. And I came across a YouTube video and it was called something like, um, I'm pretty sure it's three-year-old Toby opens different gun safes, something like that. Three-year-old Toby opens different gun safes. And I have a kid named Toby, um, but I was shocked. Uh, it's not my kid that's on the video, but I was shocked when I saw this little pumpkin, a little three-year-old wearing Carter's monkey pajamas that my little boys had at the time. I had a three-year-old at the time. Um, easily and effortlessly opening, opening these secure safe storage devices. Um, two of them in the video are ones that we used, we had in our home at the time and were using as bedside safes. Um, so I encourage you to look for that video and watch how easily he was able to open um, those gun safes. So I like this because it does meet that standard um, for youth resistant firearm storage devices. Another reason that I like this one is because every time I've tested it to open it, it works every time. I've been able to test it again and again and again and again, and I did test it a lot before I relied on it. Um, in my current season of life, this is exactly what I need. I need something that's effortless that I don't even need to think about. And then I also like the uh, extreme por uh, portability and multifunctionality of this. Um, I have mine secured to my bed post and um, you can also um, secure it to your nightstand. We used to buy like inexpensive nightstands and just um, drill, uh, it comes with a template so you can drill holes into it and secure it so nobody can pick it up. Um, I like the fact that this is portable because when we travel in the RV um, or with airline travel or even just on a, a car trip with the kids where we're going somewhere to stay overnight, I love that I can take this into the RV and put, it, uh, put this cable around the leg where this sofa attaches to the floor. Um, I like that I can use it in my suitcase or take it with me into a hotel room. And I like that my nighttime storage uh, is the exact same on the road that it is at home. Uh, that just works well for me where I am at this season of life. So what are some of the features that make it easy for me to use? Uh, there's a green light on the top that I've mentioned a few times that very faint light, but it's easy for me to see that at night. So I know exactly where I need to place my wrist so that it'll open. I love that this is large enough to fit my holstered gun in my Enigma with the sport belt on it. Uh, I had one before this that worked very similarly, but when I switched to uh, carrying with the Enigma, um, it wouldn't work, wouldn't hold everything together. Um, I like the RFID wristband. I like that it's fast touch-free entry. I like that there's multiple options for opening this device. Uh, it comes with a couple of keys and some RFID stickers and RFID key fob, the bracelet. Um, I just like there's multiple ways to get into it. That also comes with problems or something else to think about. And that is I need to make sure that those alternate methods to open it, that I keep those secure. Uh, those need to be in a safe uh, safe spot, secure, locked up, um, so that no one can access those, because if they can access those, they can access this. Um, and it even has a number keypad on it too, so you can do the um, put programmable push button pad if you want to also. Um, for me, this is an easy proven option. I don't even have to make any additional decisions. I have confidence that it's gonna work every single time. Um, I've tested it and I continue to test it. I've had this for probably three or four years now, I think, um, and use it extensively. So I'm gonna ask you, how about your method? No doubt you have a tested proven method for rapidly accessible yet secure storage. I'm not advocating this particular device. Uh, this is just what works for me in this season of life. But I am advocating taking measures to allow no unauthorized access uh, to our firearms that are not currently in use. Um, and I also encourage folks to minimize administrative gun handling, um, the unnecessary type. So if you have a secure storage method uh, that prevents unauthorized access that you use and that you like and that you've vetted and tested and serves you well, well, by all means, share. That's it for today. Hope to see you again soon.